Hey guys, welcome back. It's boss time. This guy's been trying to stick us with his tentacles. Yeah, don't let him do that. Thank you. The spine. Okay, so what do I got? I got love. I have a feeling I can't turn this guy to my, yeah. my cause. <laughs> um, All right. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. that I need to kill. I'm gonna probably lose a lot of my processes here. The good thing is I don't die, right? Like, I just yeah, lose no. abilities. Don't lose breach. Yeah, it takes them randomly, right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Of course. You have doggies for assistance. Oh, yeah, fuck. Thank just... you, guys. Can't use them until I break charge. The thing is, if he's firing when I summon the dog... Where's my dog? No, I don't have dog. Wait, I didn't press the right button. I tried to summon the dog on time, but I didn't. Uh, it initiated emergency turn instead. I'm fine. Doggy, come! Whew. You have a lot of little bad cells there. Should the doggy do the horse? Nah, I can do this without. Okay. Overload lost. Okay. Help lost. Or help lost. Okay, but I still got the doggy, I think. For one more turn, I think. Do I? No, I lost him. I don't have two stages. Oh, okay. <laughs> you motherfucker. Doggy was help. Oh. Yeah. I just didn't think it would get rid of the current dog. I thought they would just make it so right. I couldn't pick it, bring in a new one. Texture soft breeze. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Good job. Sinewy. We're in his colon. Gross. I think we're in his esophagus. Oh. <laughs> He's back. You. Thanks. For whatever you did back there. You broke his heart. Among other things. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should go back to that access point you didn't activate earlier. 
Why should I access it? Because it gives you first oh. file things. Yeah, good thing I didn't activate it. Because I didn't need yeah. to, like, yes, yeah, so this is a free thing awesome. on my way back to getting it repaired. Okay. These were upgrades before, so I can bring them back while I'm waiting on the other ones to... That one plus, I don't know. Seems weird to do that. You know, having shadow would... Hey guys, that have gone up against that baddie with shadow, or I keep calling it shadow, but it, what is it called? Mask. Mask. Would that have gotten away from his fire? Or would that have like, is he impervious to mask? Like I feel like that boss battle would have broke if yeah, I had mask. Right? Cause I'd just be able to chain mask and my move. Yeah. I use the dog a lot. I had no opportunity once he had started, like, because the dog takes time to summon, and mm -hmm. then you're just fucked if he's. I don't believe he fires on you when using. Really? Mask. Oh man, what a time Maybe not to have mass. Yeah. You can't really chain it since it has a cooldown. Um, it's not about chaining really as much as it is like just. I mean, yeah, okay. There's gonna be every other one. You're still gonna. You don't. Okay, yeah, no chaining. <laughs> um, it's it's like every two turns you get to mask again. That's one extra chance of survival, though. Every two turns. That's kind of cool to know for a new game plus what you can go in with. Yeah, if you get it with jaunt and ping as secondary. What? What? Oh, like you yeah, can't really you change. can. Okay. Ready. Oh, wrong way. So, <clears throat> that would've been a lot harder if you don't just lose ability no when you yeah, die. Know where we are? We're here. We're here. Where's here, though? What was our destination? It's I don't even void. know what we've been doing this all for. I didn't even know what this whole game was for. I just was killing this things because Sword told me to. Uh oh, he just told us where we were. Where'd he said? I don't know. <laughs> They're letting us walk right in. Looks like you got a message there. Greetings from the Camerata. It's really you. Come all this way. I never had a chance to introduce myself. Kitty. I'm Asher. But you've come for Grant. Good. I'd let you up, it's just... We're stuck. Walled ourselves in. Precautionary measure. So they won't be joining us here, either. I better go. Grant needs me. Hope you're not buying this garbage. You're one of those, huh? You're one of those, uh... Girahim types. At least we know they're here. We'll find them. Alright, so that's probably as far as we go today then. We make our way to the top of the tower on the next episode. Yeah. Um, uh, I need to find a terminal though because I just want to read the, the new things we've unlocked about the characters. Yeah. Oh, what the? Maybe they'll be cordial. We sincerely regret any inconvenience or actions may have caused you. Here's your voice back. Here's your body. Have a nice day. We're kind of like the Wizard of Oz. I mean, oh yeah. Kind of like I'm going to see the Wizard of Oz. All right. So uh, what did I? Uh, I would imagine everything would sort of have new stuff about it. We've heard, have we, Red's all still locked. Huh. Yours truly. Guess I'm not supposed to be here. Not that anyone else is. So they got any dirt on me. It's 
still figuring things out. We knew about this one. She's the one who paints the sky, right? Or no, 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 no. She's... She was the reporter. When do you know if it's news? Yeah. Oh, updated, it'll say. Oh, okay. Um, she's the painter of the sky, and we read the solstice. It was the time where... She was banned from sky painting. Disappearance. She was a gifted... Gifted command over the dimension of the high of the city's physical and natural beauty caused the Camarada to seek her out. While aspects of the city evolved at a constant rate, the particular way in which Miss Danielle approached her craft with strong, discerning, intuitive sense of the eye with the wishes of her followers created a particular disposition that appealed to the Camarada after she vanished. Close to 70% of her connections decided they, that she must have fled the district to escape sentencing. And that somewhere out there, the skies still sparkle with patterns of her choosing. So it seems like the Camarada, if you, if they can't get indoctrinate you, then they kill you. Yeah. They get rid of you because you're a threat to them. If you have too much of a um, influence over like the public. Meeting Red. She met Red while putting together a small program for up and coming artists and became infatuated with Red's music than with her. According to diary entries, these were something inscrutable and confident about Red that Miss Rees could not explain. However, Miss Rees was frustrated to find that Red grew distant, though all through all this, Miss Rees observed the aloofness of one of Red's companions. Do you think we're talking about Sword Man? And decided he must have been insinuating insinuating Red insinu sense. Insinuating red against her? I don't like know that you could use the word properly. insinuating in that way. Miss Rees thought various thought through various ways to rectify this. That's possibly talking about Swordman. That's yeah. the last entry. We don't have the middle one. So did we miss the middle one? It's Nyla. Everybody said she split after Goldwalk Channel opened up. Empathy and politics are her selections. Everyone deserves the best for her reasons cited. Trace status integrated. One would have difficulty finding a more active or outspoken member of the community in Cloud Bank's Goldblock district as Miss Nyola Chien. She allotted more than 66% of her available time on activities such as passing ordinances to improve underdeveloped regions. So she was a politician. Reaching out to and educating her habitual non-voters or advocating for groups lacking adequate representation. Her motives were rarely questioned as her love for the district was in fact sincere, stemming from positive early experiences that grew to become fierce nostalgia. Miss Chin did have her detractors, however, this became very clear at the opening she arranged at the Goldwalk Channel. The channel was to be a gallery space of sorts of design showcase eclectic works from those pursuing non-standard vehicles vocations that traditionally held little share. Instead, Miss Chen found herself accused of stirring unrest and calling attention to meritless perspective, undeserving of notice. The group accosting her was an angry of 17 different reasons in total, <laughs> including the channel edged out a good competing vote for a metro station that would have bridged the gap from Goldwalk to neighboring high rise in one short ride. Miss Chen publicly lost her composure in this particular incident, which would have escalated further had not several individuals who stood in her defense. They later offered their support of any such. So it was an art gallery that she opened that prevented the opening of a new subway station that made ma people angry and made her angry that they were angry. I guess. Enter Hyford went to the country. Precinct did a press conference and everything. Psychology deduction. I believe the future can be parsed. How many cases must one? So he's a detective. Must one crack to become the most highly decorated detective in the 18th precinct? Even this officer, Hunter Hyleford, knew ahead of time. Although he never acted prideful about it, of course, Mr. Hyleford 
was no mere detective, he was a forecaster. This was one of the rarest and least understood professions in Cloudbank, though the results spoke for themselves after Officer Halford possessed an almost uncanny ability to solve any mystery that blew into town, so it was that he became very interested in the reason why Central Administration quietly decided to take down the northwestern edge of the Goldlock District until further notice. Officially speaking, Officer Halford could only do so much until the administration provided sufficient clearance for his own safety, but one of the side effects of Officer Halford's talents as a forecaster was his insatiable desire to confirm his hypotheses, so he decided to move forward with his investigation, sensing significant trouble and not wanting to sit idly by rather than do his job. What was discovered at Gold Black shook Officer Halford to his core never seen anything like it and his hands shook as he prepared his report on the spot but he ceased transcription then several individuals approached him he did not expect them either huh. so he discovered the secrets behind cloud banks shutting down that entire district he knew the truth but then he disappeared yeah bailey jill and word admin up in high rise that's a lot of privileged info transgendered Bailey Jillian to shape the present and the past acquisition statistics or at least non-identifying gender Miss Bailey Jillian well, she says goes by right Miss there. <laughs> what Just well, it's patch. weird that it says an yeah. X then when yeah. she goes by Miss Bailey Jillian was never one to follow the pack due to a variety of social challenges she experienced early on. She grew to care much more about the past than the future. While this preoccupation made her first her inclusive as a person in time flourished as an invaluable skill. What was her? Okay, more about, oh, she's a historian, which put her in the forefront of the movement to fundamentally rework the city's outdated and completed archival system. Then one day, she received a message from her local admin branch extending her pro pro opportunity to head to the city archives she accepted on the spot, then disappeared probably. Yeah, yeah, she identifies as female as but as non-gendered. Yeah. Is that, that it? Sense. Uh oh, unused, ah, whatever. So that's it. Bracket Towers Concourse. Never had the pleasure. So, let's see here. Must be the express lift to the very top. Um, it's funny because we read all this and people are going to be like, why is he only interested in like stuff in some games? Because remember like we played games where people were like, why aren't you interested in that lore? If you read the lore, you'd be more interested in the lore. And it's like, I've tried in like, you know, Tomb Raider. Yeah. I couldn't get into that game's lore. It was I hated it. I hated the whole story well, behind some it. Things just click and that that's the thing, you just have to accept sometimes things click with people. Like people are like watching us play Valiant Hearts. Yeah. And the lore being history, Becky and I are very interested in World War history. So we read every snippet in there and that's what it comes and down to. I really watched the episode basically. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to like really grasp it. Like is it interesting or not? Is that, it, it's up to the, it's whether it hooks you or not. Mm -hmm. I found the Tomb Raider Lord to just not even come close to hooking me. Yeah. Um, Skyrim. Oh god, there must be novels. Well, <laughs> yeah, in Skyrim, yeah, that's, it's gonna, <laughs> there's some people who probably read every friggin' book. hear that? There's raccoons fighting behind the studio. Like, badass raccoon fight. Holy fuck. Alright, anyways. <laughs> I hear it. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Transistor is awesome on Video Games Awesome Live.